What's up guys, Cody from Pink Gorilla here, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the thumbstick and C-stick on an original GameCube controller. So you can see this one's pretty messed up. Um, all you will need is a tri-wing screwdriver that has three points at the tip. And a thumbstick and replacement C-stick cap. You can get these and the tri-wing screwdriver at any Pink Gorilla store or on eBay for pretty cheap. So, let's get started by flipping over the GameCube controller, and there are six screws you'll need to take out. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Pretty easy, no hidden screws here. So, let's just unscrew all six of those. All right. Now that all the screws are out, just simply pull this back panel off and set that aside. And now we'll want to pull the board out. So go ahead and take this cord and pull it off of that plastic pin there. And then you can just lift by grabbing this plastic piece here and just pull it straight up. Now be careful because sometimes some of these little pads here will come along with it and you don't want to lose anything. You don't want to lose any buttons or any of the conductive pads. So um, let's put this, take the pads if they come off with the board, take them off and put them back on this shell here. Just so you don't forget them, they don't get lost. Just set that aside. So this is very simple. You just remove the thumbstick. Um, or remove the C-stick. Now I don't need to replace the C-stick cap, so I'm going to just put that right back on, but you would replace it with your new stick cap. And put on our new cap here. There's only one way it can go in. See, it has a special shape, and that will correspond to the shape of this mechanism right here. So, just put that on. Really no wrong way to do it. And then, as long as we're here, I always like to clean these points of contact on the controller just to like make sure for the future these don't end up like too dirty or anything as long as we have it open we might as well clean them and make sure the controller is working as well as it possibly can so just take some alcohol and a q-tip again this isn't really necessary for the repair obviously but it's nice to do while we got it open and I also like to do that on all of these here, all of those little black spots. All right, now hold your controller just like this, and we're gonna just shove the board back into place. Now there's these plastic poles sticking out that will go into holes in the board, so this is a pretty easy, pretty easy to get it back into place. Make sure your Z button is still in place. Sometimes it can kind of fall out. Make sure it presses regularly. And loop the cord back through the plastic pole here on the top. All right, so everything's back in place. We will just replace the back shell now. Now another thing to note, once in a while, See these little plastic sliders here? Now these are the R and L buttons. When you're putting this back together, make sure that the plastic sliders are in the up position because that's the natural position corresponding to this. So when you put it back in, if say for example these were down, they would not react anymore. Your buttons wouldn't be pressed. So make sure they're up when you put the shell back on. Flip it over. Hold it tight because you don't have any screws in. Make sure it feels right. Everything feels good, so let's just put all the screws back in. All right, good as new. Thanks for watching.